Hey guys, welcome to another finger picking lesson. Marco here. Today we're going to have a look at this beautiful chord progression in C major. Now we're going to start with the basic chords and then I'm going to show you how to add a melody around the chords. I'm also going to show you the scale that I'm using and the patterns that I like to add around the chords. Now you can get the tab, check my Patreon page and subscribe to this channel if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now let's just have a close up and let's get started. All right guys, the chord progression is super simple. C major, E minor, F major, C and G. We're also going to have a B section where we're playing an A minor, an E minor chord. I'm going to show you this uh, later through the video. Now the first chord is a C major, we're going to play it like this. So each chord is played in triplets, so it's one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Now the first one is C, we're playing like this, fret number three, two, open, and the fret number one. I'm only plucking five, four, three, and two. You pluck that simultaneously, then you want to get rid of the middle finger and play a C sus two, and then play the D string fret number three which is a C sus4, and back to the C major. Now, once I play the last C, I will then play the B string fret 3 and the E string open. So I have a short melody um, played over the C chord. The second chord is the E minor, and I'm playing a beautiful E minor 7. So I'm playing the low E string, the G string open, and the B and the E string fret number 3. Pluck that simultaneously, then I have the bass note again, and then the B and E string fret 5, and a slide back to the fret number 3. So... Make sure that you play the bass note on each count. One, two, three. Then I have... A melody which is on the E string fret number three open and the B string fret number three. The next chord is the F. And I have four different voicing for this chord. The first one goes like this: you have the D string fret number three and the G string fret five. I don't play the B string and I have the E string fret number 5. It's a beautiful chord with root note 5th and major 3rd. So I pluck this simultaneously. Then I have... I'm gonna play this beautiful, beautiful sounding chord. It's just like a G major with the F on the bass. So it's a G over F. And what I'll do, I'm gonna keep the bass note down. So I'm gonna play the D string. And then the G string fret 4 and the E string fret 3. Then I'm going to change position and play an F major chord again where I'm playing the D string fret 3 now with the third finger and then the G and the E string fret 2 and 1. And then I have the last one which is just an F major. So 3, 2 and 1 simultaneously. So four different voicing. Now I'm going back to the C major. And G major. So you want to pluck the chord simultaneously. This time I'm playing fret 3 on the A string, G string open, the B string fret 1 and the E string open. And the bass note, E string fret 1, open and the G major. But I'm playing 3, open, open and 3. So this is the first part. Now when we play the chord progression the second time, we're actually going to play it slightly different. We're going to have... That's the same. And that's the same. So we have the C. C at 9, C sus 4, and back to the C with a different voicing. This time we're gonna play 3, open, 1, and open. So you pluck that simultaneously. Then I'm gonna play the B string fret number 3, and I'm playing 5, 3, and 2. 
Then I'm gonna play this one, which can be quite challenging, this beautiful scissors four, which is three open one one with a little bar chord and back to the C. So the same melody guys, okay? So together, fret number three and the E string open. And then the same E minor seven, bass note. And then the melody is slightly different. I'm playing E minor seven, bass, and then on the G and the E string, fret number five and fret number seven, simultaneously with the bass. Then I have just three notes. The E string fret seven, five, seven. And we go back to the F major, which is gonna be played same way as we already learned it. So the differences are there. You have C, F is the same and we keep the C the same and the G the same. Now when we play the G though because we are um, basically leading into the B section we're gonna play the G major then we play the bass note the E string open the B string for number three and the front number one And then we start the B section with the A minor chord. Now guys, the B section is a whole different thing. We're gonna have A minor. So we're gonna start with the beautiful A minor chord. We're gonna change the voicing. And it's a basic A minor chord. Open, two, two, one, open. Now we're only gonna pluck though the five, four, three, and two, okay? So you have the voicing going on the B string fret one and the B string open. So you have you have it three times, then you play the chord again. Then the B string for number three, open. And back to the A minor. Then we're gonna have the E string open, the B string for number three, and for number one. Now, one thing about the bass note, As you can see, I always um, try to anticipate the bass note before I play the melody. So you will pluck it together uh, when you play the chord. But then when I play the melody, I'm actually anticipating the bass right before the melody starts. Now the second chord is the E minor, which is a beautiful, a beautiful sounding chord. It sounds like this. And I'm playing like this, the low E string open, the D string fret two, and the G and the B string open. Now there is also a melody, so you wanna plug the chord simultaneously. Then you have the G string fret two, and then we're gonna alternate the B string open with the G string fret two to play the melody. So, and you wanna play it three times, one, two, three, and then the fourth time you actually play the low E string with the B string open. So, then you have the G string fret two and the G string open. And you play the chord again. Then there is still one melody, which I'm playing with the B string open, the G string fret two, and the B string open again, before we move into the F major, so. Now for the F, 
want to put down the F major, which is fret 3, 2, and 1. And the melody is between the C, the note C, which is the B string fret 1, and the B string open. So 1, and 2, and 3, and 1. So it's three times, and the fourth time you actually play the chord again. Then the B string fret number 3, E string open, and the F major again with 4, 3, and 2. So. Then you have a simple melody with the D string fret 3 and the B string fret number 1, 3, and the E string open. And we'll play the C and the G. So playing the same C, guys, fret number 3 and fret number 1, you plug 5, 3, 2, and 1. Then the bass note, the B string fret 1, 3, open, the open E and the G major, bass note, and the E string open, B string fret number three, and fret number one. And then the C, C sus two, C sus four, and the C major. And you can finish with the beautiful, this beautiful C with the E string fret three. Good luck with this lesson.